So I was on an interview today for a virtual conference um, for women that are in corporate that are transitioning into a purpose-driven career, entrepreneurship to be specific. And So I was on an interview today for a virtual conference um, for women that are in corporate that are transitioning into a purpose-driven career, entrepreneurship to be specific. And I was asked, what is your final takeaway? What final piece of advice do you have for women that are at this junction in their journey? And the one thing that I wanted to share that came up and also came up recently in my Sacred Leader Academy program with women that are specifically on this journey is to ask yourself, where's the fun? Where is the fun? Because it is your job simply to follow the fun, follow what lights you up. If your business, if your soul aligned business is not fun, you're not in alignment. You're not in soul alignment. And so it's not about forcing a certain strategy. It's not about forcing a certain formula in your business. It's about tapping in intuitively to what is fun, what brings you joy, what gets you excited. This is the energy that you want to be in when you're creating. And if you're not creating from this place, you're not creating from alignment. And everything that you create from that energetic frequency is going to hold that energetic frequency. And everything that you create from higher frequency, from joy, from love, from passion, from fun, is going to hold that frequency. Your creations are an extension of your frequency um, when you create them. I, I, I truly, truly believe this. I see it happen all the time in my own business as well. If I put out content that feels forced or feels restrictive or feels, you know, yeah, force is the best way to, to, um, to summarize this. If I put out content because I think I should be putting it out or um, creating something from a place of obligation, it doesn't carry the same frequency. And you know what? Your soulmate clients are gonna be able to pick up on that. They're not gonna be drawn to you. You know, I did a recently a poll on my Instagram profile um, and so many people wanted to learn how to create a magnetic offer. Well, you create a magnetic offer the same way actually that you create magnetic content. Although there's different strategy involved with an offer, but, you, but the, at the core of it, there is the same energetic alignment that must be present and it must be that you are coming from a place of flow, joy, fun, passion, enthusiasm. You cannot create from a, a place of force or obligation. So even in Sacred Leader Academy, I teach what I refer to as organic traffic sources. And that can look like going live on, on your Instagram stories or doing a pre-recorded video such as the one that you're watching right now or it could be a podcast episode or it could be a written post or it could be a book you know there's so many different ways to have an organic traffic source right ultimately I model so many of these inside the program but the ultimate deciding factor on which one you should focus your efforts on is the one that aligns with you because we're building a soul aligned business for you, right? And this is what I tell my clients all the time. You're not building my soul aligned business. You're building your soul aligned business. I'm going to give you the blueprint, the structure, the foundation, and a step-by-step -step formula that works in regards to getting you scaled, making a global impact, and creating a freedom-based lifestyle with a six-figure and multiple six-figure and beyond business model. And I'm going to help you more importantly, though, get into soul alignment because this is when things start to flow in your business with ease. This is when you are in more of a creating mode more of the time, receiving guidance more of the time, creative sparks of insight more of the time when you are in this energetic space. 
And so I just wanted to tap in here with you today about this topic of fun. If your business is not fun, something is off. Your business should be fun. It should bring you joy. You should be able to wake up in the morning and be so excited about it. Um, when it comes to creating your content, it should feel easy. It should, it should feel like flow. It should feel exciting. It may even be a little scary, but at the underneath that is a level of excitement that is core deep. It is something that you know you're on the right path and it is something that's bubbling up inside of you, even if you have fear around it because your soul doesn't stop calling you when you're in fear mode. It just might be harder to tap into it, but your soul is always nudging you forward and your ego will kick up the more and more you put yourself out there and the more and more you share your message and your truth and your gift with the world. So fear is normal. Expect some fear, expect some resistance, but tap into the place that's deeper than that and make sure that you're in alignment with, with that feeling. Um, the, the core deep essence. The days of hustle and grinding it out and burnout and overwhelm are over. It's old paradigm. Long gone are the days where you need to pound the pavement, so to speak, or really force your way to success. If you truly want to build a business that is in alignment, this is what I refer to as soul aligned success. You have to be willing to surrender to the process, allow what is coming into your experience to be your experience, quit resisting where you're at, release the control and tap into your soul and what you're really being called to create and what you're really being called to do. And most importantly, have fun with the process this is just a key indicator that you're not in alignment. And the major takeaway from this video is if you're not having fun, you're not in alignment. So ask yourself, where is the fun? Where is the fun? Even if you don't know what it is that you're supposed to be doing, which is likely the case because if you've been conceptually trying to figure it out, what you should be doing, you're in your mind. So call it in and ask for guidance and ask for the next step to be revealed to you. You are on the path of spiritual entrepreneurship. You don't have to figure it out. You get to receive. You get to receive the guidance and then act on that guidance. So call it in. This is exactly how I created my podcast. This is exactly how I create my master classes. This is exactly how I create my programs. I create the space, I call it in, and then I follow the fun. I follow the inspiration. I follow my bliss, as Joseph Campbell would say. So I wanted to leave you here with this. And if this resonates with you and you want to build a soul line business from scratch or you want to re- um, redo your existing business because it needs to be more in alignment with your lifestyle goals um, or be more sustainable, then this is what I specialize in specifically for spiritual entrepreneurs, transformational coaches, and spiritual channels and messengers, lightworkers, and healers. So if this resonates with you, check out my Soul Line Success Masterclass below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And if that masterclass really resonates with you, then you will get an invite to hop on a free strategy session with me, which is a 60 minute deep dive into your business where I get more familiar with your, with your specific mission and your business goals. And I help you map out a soul aligned six figure business blueprint that will scale you for massive global um, impact and also leverage your time so you can have the freedom-based, wellness-based lifestyle in the back end so you can have fun in your business. It's not supposed to be a drain. It's not supposed to be an energy drain. It's not supposed to be a hustle and grind. And it's not supposed to, you know, feel like hard work. Although I'm not going to say you don't get shit done. You do. You do get shit done, but you do it in an aligned way that is not draining draining you. And the, the things that you do take action on will catapult you in your business and truly move the needle for you instead of you just creating busy work for yourself that eventually just drains you and burns you out. 
So that being said, that's what I wanted to share with you today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below this video. And I look forward to tuning in with you very soon for another episode. Namaste.